click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous reaction we have understood the hydrolysis of nitroalkane and now in this topic we are going to talk about the reaction of nitroalkane with bromine in presence of NaOH. So now let us understand this topic. So friends, now in this topic we are going to talk about the reaction of nitroalkane with bromine in presence of NaOH. So now let me give you the general reaction first. But let me give you another information that is there are primary, secondary as well as tertiary nitroalkanes also. So depending on that I am going to talk about each of the reaction that is the reaction of bromine in presence of NH with primary nitroalkane with secondary nitroalkane and let us see about the tertiary nitroalkane also. So now let me talk about the first one that is suppose if we are considering a primary nitroalkane and for that we have a general reaction that I could represent it in this way that is R C CH2 R CH2 and this is nothing but NO2. So this is what I have considered here as primary nitroalkane and suppose if I am reacting it with bromine that is I could say it as Br2 and that also in presence of that is NaOH or in an alkaline medium. So in this case basically the reaction proceeds in such a manner that is we could get that is the halogen atom that are being substituted on the alpha carbon atom. So that is the reason basically here that is during the reaction of primary nitroalkane with bromine. So we could get a dihalogen derivative of the corresponding compound and that's the reason and that's the reason that we could get the following product that is R C here it is Br here it is Br here it is NO2 along with that of the byproduct that we could get is that is NaBr plus H2O but here we have to balance the reaction and that's the reason that we are balancing the reaction by adding that is two moles of Br2 as well as by adding two moles of NOH. So in this case basically the product that we could get is the same product that is what we have got over here but the thing is we could get that is two moles of NABR along with that of that is two moles of H2O. So the main thing that I want to talk about is whenever a primary nitroalkane is basically it is reacted with an halogen that is it could be Br2 also or it could be that is Cl2 also that also in presence of that is NOH then the product that we could get is nothing but a dihalogen derivative of the compound that is what we have considered that is primary nitroalkane. So now let me explain this with the help of an example. So suppose friends in this case I am taking a common example that is what we have considered in our previous lectures also that is suppose if I am considering nitroalkane that is CH3 CH2 and this is NO2 and suppose if I am reacting it with bromine and that also that is two moles of bromine along with that of two moles of NaOH. Then during this reaction obviously the product that we could get is basically this hydrogen will be replaced by the corresponding number of bromine atoms and the product is nothing but CH3 C here it is Br here it is Br while here it is NO2 along with that of the byproduct is nothing but two moles of NaBr plus two moles of H2 so this is the product that we could get but what is the name of this product we could give the number to this carbon as carbon number one this would be carbon number two but in this case on carbon number one as well as on carbon number one itself there are two bromines that are been around two bromine atoms that are been attached so therefore the name of this compound can be given as one comma one dibromo nitroethane so this is the name of the product so this was related to the reaction of primary nitroalkane with bromine in presence of that is NaOH. So let us understand the next one that is what is the action of the secondary nitroalkane with bromine in presence of NaOH. So now let us talk about that. So suppose friends if you are considering a secondary nitroalkane that is R C this is R here it is H and this is NO2 and this R and this R that is they are alkyl groups and they can be same also or they can be different also and suppose if I am reacting it with Br2 in presence of NaOH. The thing is, here the alpha hydrogen is only one, only one alpha hydrogen is present. But in the previous one, that is what we have considered as the primary natural gain, there were two alpha hydrogens. So that is the reason we don't have to take two moles of Br2 along with that of two moles of NH. Even one mole of Br2 and one mole of NH is sufficient to balance the reaction. And the product that we could get is nothing but I would write it over here is R C R this hydrogen it will be replaced by one of the bromine atom so therefore here it is Br now this is the same that is NO2 it will be as it is along with that of the byproduct that is nothing but NaBr plus H2O 
So this is the reaction that proceeds and the following product is what we could get is nothing known as a monohalogen derivative of the corresponding compound that we have taken it earlier that is a second natural game. So this is what we will get and now let me explain this reaction with the help of an example. Suppose if we have consider this reactant that is CH3, CH3 here it is NO2 and here it is H. So the name of the reactant that I have considered here is basically 2 nitropropane. And suppose if it is being reacted with bromine molecule that is Br2 and that also in presence of that is NaOH. So therefore the product that is what we could get here is basically one hydrogen or one alpha hydrogen will be replaced by one bromine atom and that is the reason that the product that we could get is nothing but CH3. C, here it is CH3, while here it will be Br and the rest of the thing that is NO2 it will be as it is and now we see the byproduct that is what we could get is NaBr, NaBr along with that of that is HOH that is in the form of H2. So this is the byproduct that is what we could get. But if we talk about the name of the product, so I could name this as carbon number 1 this is carbon number 2 and this is carbon number 3 and on second carbon basically the bromine group or the bromine atom is basically attached so that's the reason the name of this one could be given as that is 2 bromo 2 nitro the reason behind that is because on the second carbon atom basically the nitro group is attached and the overall the, norm, the total number of carbon atoms here is 1 2 3 that makes a hydrocarbon which is known as propane so therefore the name is 2 bromo 2 nitro propane that's it so this was related to the example of the primary as well as secondary nitroalkane with bromine in presence of NUH. So if you talk about the tertiary nitroalkane, so the reaction of tertiary nitroalkane with bromine along with that of NUH is not occurring and that's the reason that no product has been formed. So the thing is it is only limited up to primary as well as secondary nitroalkane and that's it. This is what I'm going to talk about. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.